Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Will. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I know I am. Uh, let's just go ahead and hop right into this. We are at Route 207. We need to go to Orberg Mines, or I think it's what it's called. So let me go ahead and check on our Pokemon to see if we're, we're not that healed. So we need to... So our main primary focus of today's video is to level up Chimchar to a Monferno. So we have a better chance at being the gym because he learns a fighting type move and it is super effective against the rock type Pokemon. So we need to get uh, Chimchar to Monferno, which shouldn't be too hard because he is level 13, meaning next level he should evolve into Monferno. So the goal of today, like I said, is to get to these mines. So next episode we can do the gym, uh, but at the same time, we need to go ahead and evolve our, our boy, you know? So let's go ahead and go get this Pokeball real quick. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I should be streaming sometime uh, tonight. Uh, we had a little miss up, mishap with my uh, capture card. My capture card actually just stopped working. I undownloaded it, tried to redownload it, but the download link wouldn't actually give me... Um, oh, I actually have Rock Smash too. That will be super effective. Um, the the capture card actually won't wouldn't let me... Like when I downloaded it, there's something wrong that it wouldn't let me... I couldn't get... What do you call it? The um, the shortcut to like to actually pop up when I downloaded it. So I just basically abandoned it. I ordered a new capture card in Elgato actually uh, from Best Buy to pick up. And I'm going to be picking that up uh, after I'm done actually recording here and getting this video out to you guys today. And I'm trying to see, do I have to, can I find any of these people? No. Um, and yeah, so we should be streaming some live uh Shiny Hunting Rayquaza, and I'll be doing that with you guys. So if you guys want to go ahead and jump into those, uh, those that'd be, that's going to be awesome. Uh, hope you guys, if you are new, make sure to smack that like button, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. It helps so much. Uh, I just love being able to make this content for you guys, and I love Pokemon Platinum. So I'm having a lot of fun with this playthrough, and it's it's really I'm really enjoying it. So uh, right here, we can go ahead and just test our Rock Smash to see how super effective it's going to be with this Geodude. Geodude's level, level 4, though, so it's not going to do too much, you know? But um, ignore the dogs barking in the background right there. Uh, there's a dog barking outside right now. But um, the wild you do fainted, and that's 41 XP. But we need to go ahead and get some trainer battles done because uh, that's how we're really going to level up our Pokemon. But we're also trying to explore Orberg Gym to find the Pokemon uh, Gym Leader that we're searching for. But also, we're going to be we're gonna be hitting a lot of these Geodudes and stuff. But we're going to go ahead and battle all of them because we want to we want to level up. So let's go ahead and hit with that. the Rock Smash. It's super effective. Yeah, so like Rock Smash isn't going to be too great. I want to I want to get that dual type uh, firefighting and I want to uh, to get, I think it's Mock Punch that Monferno gets and I want to just go ahead and use that against that gym. 73, not too bad. A couple more of those, we should be able to get it, but we're also going to try to battle some of these people because uh, I think you can talk to them, battle them, but I'm not entirely sure. Um... There's a lot of things I'm not sure of. I haven't played this game in a long time, but I am super hyped. I really think the next games to come out are going to be these remakes. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Do you think these remakes are going to come out? Um, because, I mean, it's just the next one to come out. The Gen 3 remakes, the Gen 2... Were there Gen 2 remakes? Wait. I don't think there were. I don't think there were. Okay, but I think Gen 4 is the next one to come out. It's one of the most popular games in the franchise. So I really, oh, I had to talk to him. There we go. Yeah, we do battle them. So I really think that Gen 4 is going to get its spot uh, t in the in those remakes. I don't know. I really want it to. It's just this game is so amazing. Um, and every aspect of it is just so awesome. I think all the Pokemon are awesome. I think this generation really starts to sh see a lot of diversity in the Pokemon and how, and how really cool Pokemon, basically. Um like some of my favorite Pokemon came out of this generation. My favorite Pokemon of all time, Luxray, came out of this generation. You had um, Garchomp. You have um, uh, what's his name, Lucario. Uh, the three starters are just awesome too. Torterra, Empoleon, and uh, Infernape are just some of the coolest starters I feel like. And there we go. We should level up there to level fourteen. And Chimchar should evolve. Should. I could be mistaken. 
And there we go, guys. Chimchar is evolving, guys. And we are going to get a Monferno this episode, which is super exciting. And we should be able to learn Mach Punch after he becomes a Monferno because we get that dual typing and he's not just fire type anymore. Which is very exciting, guys. And there we go, guys. We do now have Monferno. Congratulations, your Chimchar evolved into Monferno. Super exciting. Wants to learn Mach Punch. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Should a move be deleted? Yes, indeed. So we're gonna probably just gonna for now. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna take away Scratch. We'll just keep Leer for now, uh, just in case we really need it, because um, it could be helpful uh, in the future. We don't know, but there we go. He learned Mach Punch. We're gonna probably train our Shinx off screen because he's not gonna be needed for this gym. I think we're really gonna just be able to take on this gym with uh, our Monferno, and that will be it. Watch. Let's just see. Let's just see here. What our Monferno is able to do. All right. And there we go, guys. It's super effective. It one hits it. We don't know what it's going to do to the uh, Pokemon in the gym yet, but it that's a good sign. All right. We found a potion. We're going to have to stop on those before the gym because if we're going to use one Pokemon really to do our, th our thing, you know. Okay, stand back. Watch this. Using the hidden move, Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. On a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. And there we go. We saw the gym leader, guys. And let's go ahead and go into this battle as well. Oh, and we find an Onyx. So, Pretty cool. I think we're going to have to be fighting an Onyx in the gym. So we might as well just practice. You know, why not? See if we can tank out this Onyx. Um, we should be able to, obviously. It's a level 7. Um, I think it actually... Oh, not all the way. Okay. That's scary. We're actually going to go through and fight all the trainers in here. Get as, get as much XP as we can from this um, cave. And um, basically in the episode there. And then the next episode that comes out, I might even double upload. I might do the gym leader today. I'm not sure, but 100 XP, that's good. 108 XP. But we're going to go ahead and battle this guy up here. I'm into... Oh, no. He's not a. He's not someone I can battle. Darn. I know there's some up there, like up uh, outside of the thing. So that's a level 9 Geodude, not too bad. We could have always picked up a Badoo as well to help us and just kind of drop the Badoo off in our box, but... I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. Having to level up the Badoo, it wasn't my, wasn't really what I wanted to do. And he's going to use Mud Sport. I think there's just one Pokemon I'm really worried about in this next gym coming up that uh, I think it's Rampardos. Yeah, and I'm really worried about uh, taking on. Wait, it might not be Rampardos. I don't think it evolves yet. It might be, um, I can't think of his name. I can usually name a lot of Pokemon. I just, I feel like, okay. So we're going to go through and see a lot okay i think uh after i get out of this uh cave um i don't know i shouldn't have done i shouldn't have gone that way i should have left the cave i should have left the cave i'm like watching my dogs outside seeing what they're doing and he goes leash life okay no big deal i want to get to at least level 15 before i take on this gym though but with mock punch we should be good with mock punch, we should be good. And Monferno's level 46. There is a trainer that we can battle. Let's go. Fine. Alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. I think after this, we'll probably just run from all the Pokemon, try to get out, fight that last trainer I saw up there. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the gym. I don't know if I'll fight the gym leaders, like grunts, basically, what the, I guess you could call them, uh, right away. I think I'll wait for that next episode, but oh, there's my dog. <laughs> and there we go. Level 15. Not bad. If we can get to 16, that'd be cool. Um, we're going to keep battling here with my, with our Monferno. Our, our Shinx just isn't going to do a lot against these guys, especially because it doesn't have any good attacks right now. Um, well, Electric wouldn't do anything to them to begin with. And we don't have bite or anything on him yet. I do believe he gets bite before he gets an electric type move that can actually do damage to Pokemon. But I'm not entirely sure. That's 127 XP. There we go, guys. And let's go ahead and run out of this place. Get this Pokeball real quick first. 
We found an escape rope. I might just escape rope out of here. We can always get another escape rope. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and escape rope out of here. Not a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal using the escape rope. If I use the escape rope and I was wrong for doing so, then I'm not that smart. But I used the escape rope. All right. And there should be a trainer I can battle right here. This guy should... Should he battle me? No, he doesn't battle me. Okay, interesting. Do I battle her? No. What? I thought you could battle these people. I see a Pokeball right there, though. I'm going to go grab it. I know I have a lot of time in this episode just because going to the mine wasn't too crazy. A dire hit. So I can just go ahead and collect these things for you guys real quick. A yellow shard. Not bad. Not bad. And he doesn't battle, so no... No battles over here. I think level 15 should be fine to take on this gym because I think the highest Pokemon they have is level 14. So I don't think we're in that much trouble. I might try to get to at least level 16 before the gym battle, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll go into his gym. We'll fight the people that are there and then we'll call it a day on this episode. And then next episode, it'll be all about taking on the gym leader. A little short episode to take on the gym leader. Not a big deal. Um... We're sure your Pokemon are full health. We hope to see you again. But yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys are there for the live stream today, tonight. I'm going to be super excited to live stream again. I haven't live streamed in so long. Uh, let's go ahead and go in. And we can look right here and see who's... Brandon has already defeated him. So we're going to go ahead and take on these trainers real quick. And then next episode, take on the gym leader. Uh, that's the, I think it's the good plan here. I think that's what... I think it's the right move, to be honest with you. Take on these guys, and then we'll take on the gym leader next. So level 11 Geodude, not bad. And we have a level 15 Monferno. And hopefully we'll be level 16 after taking on these guys. And we do Mock Punch. And there we go. It does a lot. It's super effective. He's going to go for the tackle. Not bad. Only takes four. Not bad, not bad. We're definitely going to need some potions. There is a fly in here. It's annoying. We're definitely going to need some potions, I think. Um, 171 XP. Wow, we're, that's actually a bit of XP. I think we might be able to level up to 16. I don't know yet. Okay, and there we go. The last one. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Well, yeah, I want to win, man. I don't think anybody challenges anything hoping that they lose. All right, and he sent out the Geodude. And we're going to send out Monferno. Monferno is going to be the carry in this gym for sure. Like, You guys obviously know that, but by this point. And there we go. And he should level up after this one. You know, I might actually take on the gym this episode. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to take on the gym this episode, guys. I think I'm going to take on the gym. We're going to go for a mock punch here. And there we go. The Onyx is taken out. We hit level 16 from this battle. And a lot of XP goes into our XP bar. Not bad. And we want to learn Fury Swipes. Interesting. Um, do I want to learn Fury Swipes right now? I can always relearn that move later. So I think Fury Swipes is something that we're going to go ahead and give up on for right now. Just because I'm not really doing anything that needs me to get a Pokemon to 1 HP for any specific reason. So we get 144 for winning, and I'm going to go ahead and go out here, heal real quick, and then we're going to go back and uh, face the gym leader this episode, because why not? All right, guys, we are back, and here we go. We've healed up our Pokemon, and with that, we are ready to take on the Orberg's Gym City Gym Leader, and here we go, Rorik. We're ready to take you on. I'm one of the trainers who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of Pokemon that battle with you. Of the po Pokemon that battle with you. That was such a cool, cool line, and I just I messed it up, man. And we're versus Rorik. Here we go. Rorik has three Pokemon, and I have two, and I'm only going to use one. <laughs> and he sends out a level 12 Geodude, and we send out our level 16 Monferno. And we're going to go ahead and right off the bat go for the Mach Punch. It should do some damage here, and that does half. That's not bad. He's going to go for a Stealth Rock, so if I do switch Pokemon, they will be hurt. Um, but we're just going to go for the Mach Punch to go ahead and knock him out. We're not planning on switching Pokemon here in this situation, unless a Pokemon obviously dies, then we have to switch out. But we go ahead and gain 187 XP. He's going to send out Onyx when you switch your Pokemon. I'm actually going to go ahead and keep battling. <coughs> As you guys already know, I basically hyped up Monferno to take on this gym by himself. Um, 
That is what he's basically for right now. At this point, he's going to go ahead and use Screech. Okay. Not bad. Our defense fell harshly, though. So if we do get hit, it won't be good. And there we go. We hit the super effective mock punch perfectly. Let's do this. I thought maybe that would have... That's why I said we hit. I thought maybe it would have been a crit. Just because of... We hit level 17. Just because of how much it did. But uh, we're going to go ahead and keep battling here and take on the Kranidos. Uh, this is the one we we're worried about, but he's level 14. We're three levels ahead. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, I did math right. He has Mold Breaker. We're going to go for the Mock Punch. And there we go. We we pretty much have... Oh. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, come on. Can we get the knockout here? And there it is, guys. We hit the knockout on the Kranidos. That is super exciting. Oh, that... Damn. Ugh, that... It's the... It's harshly... the When they took down my defense, that's when it really worried me. And that Kranidos hitting that headbutt was scary. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That is all there is to it. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your own gym badge. Since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. We'll receive the Cole badge from Rorik. Having that Cole badge means you, your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. I obtained TM76, which I do believe... Stealth Rock, yeah. This move inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but the TM will break when you use it. So make sure certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. All right, guys, and there we go. There you have it. If you go over here to this pedestal right here, you can now see that it is both Brandon and Will who have beaten the gym leader. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, guys. It is greatly appreciated as we save this episode and we close out today. I wanted to say that you guys are amazing, and thank you for all the support on the channel that you have given me. Thank you for uh, the 60 views on the first episode. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot to me. I hope you guys have an amazing night. And yeah, so tune in for the live stream. Goodbye, everybody.